What's up, my kings and queens, my guys and goddesses? It is your girl Jazz, the one and only mystical goddess here, coming at you guys with another video today. And in this video, I'm just going to be like talking to you guys about like this whole little spiritual journey that I have been on, my spiritual awakening, or if you want to call it that. So, yeah, um, it's gonna be a mukbang video. I have with me some Chick fil A. And I know I told you guys that I was gonna go vegan. If you haven't seen that video of my vegan grocery haul, I suggest you, I suggest you go do that and also subscribe to my channel. Um, but I do still plan on going vegan. But first, I was gonna try to go like do a little alkaline lifestyle thing. I was gonna try to do that first before I even before I try to transition to going vegan. So yeah, so I just been doing my research on you know like alkaline foods and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but um, if you guys are interested in hearing about my spiritual journey, spiritual awakening, continue watching. Oh yeah, and I just got um a 12 count nugget meal from Chick-fil-A, some fries, lemonade. Got two Chick-fil-A sauce and two buffalo sauce. And I also got um a cookie parfait, but I'm going to say that for later. Let me show you guys just in case I don't know what a cookie parfait is. It's just a parfait with um Oreo crumbles on top of it. So... Yeah, but like I said, I normally save my cookie parfait for like later or whatever. So, yeah. So, I just want to start off by saying, um, my whole, well, I don't want to say my whole life, but growing up in my household, I guess I would have considered myself a Christian. Um, um, what happened? Oh, yeah, I went to church. You know, growing up, you know, when I was younger, I did go to church. Um, I think I was in the choir once or twice. I don't know. I can't remember. But I do remember going to church or whatever. But as soon as, like, my parents um, divorced, we stopped going to church because my mama was the man, one that was, like, church going or whatever, you know, the whole Christian. And my daddy, he was like, nah, bro. Like, I don't fuck with church because they hypocrites or whatever. So, so, like, when they got divorced when I was young, you know, church was kind of out of the picture and like growing up my grandma she was also like she went to church every sunday or whatever and like she tried to get me to like the lord's prayer and this that and third but for some reason i was just like never into it like it that just never was my thing like the whole like white god <laughs> was never my thing stuff like that so yeah um so I would say like growing up I was Christian or whatever but I never really had like a relationship or I was never like church going or whatever like I never really prayed like that but I would consider myself a Christian because that was a thing to do but I would say for me personally like I didn't really um okay well something happened to me like when I was younger but no but it wasn't until 2013 when I had my miscarriage and the boy well, my boyfriend at the time like literally a month after I had my miscarriage the boy I can't call him the boy my boyfriend um at the time he got locked up or whatever so i was like you know i was like oh my god like i must be like god's favorite child like i am blessed and highly favored because like there was a situation that i did not want to be in like being pregnant and then the person who i'm pregnant by being locked up like uh, mm -mm. there's not a lot that i won't live like i want like if i ever get pregnant like when I'm pregnant by they finna be right here by my side the entire pregnancy and all of that. So, you know, the universe know that was something that I ain't built for this shit. Well, I mean, well, nah, that's just some, that's not my life. Yeah. So, when that happened, I kind of knew, I'm like, okay, maybe I do have like a purpose in life, like a bigger purpose. Like, but it was like, what is my purpose though? And I didn't know. So, in 2013, I had the miscarriage or whatever, and then that's when I finally figured, like, okay, maybe you feel me, there is somebody out there. There maybe is a guy, you know, out there looking out for me or whatever. Because before then, like I said, I had no relationship. Like, I really, I rarely prayed. 
And like, I've been through some sh <laughs> And like, yeah, and I'm not finna say I ain't had the perfect life either, but, and I was going through shit, but I still never really prayed like that. So, so after that happened in 2013, in 2014, I, um, I met this guy, <laughs> and I think his father was like a preacher, a minister, whatever, a deacon, somebody. So, I was like, like me and him, you know, we tried to read the Bible together, stuff like that. And even after, like, we broke up, I still, like, tried to continue the whole, like, being being a Christian thing, you know, trying to live by that lifestyle, you know. Um, I started watching One Church LA. I don't know if y'all familiar with that, but it's basically, if you know who T.D. Jakes is, well, basically his daughter and her husband, um, they have a church called One Church LA. But at the time, that was that that was that only church at the time. Now they have two churches, but. I would try to watch them like every Sunday, you know, get my praise on, whoop, whoop, <laughs> and stuff like that. And so, that happened in 2014. So in 2014, that's why I tried to like actually be like, I'm a Christian and try to live by like the lifestyle and that that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, you know. But then, you know, that was 2014 and 15. Then 2016. <laughs> I found um somebody's Twitter and like she was talking about astrology and stuff like that and like crystals and over time like I was becoming like familiar with crystals and astrology and stuff like that so <laughs> um Oh, I was looking for my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna bring up her Twitter because I'm gonna try to follow her. So I feel like it was in 2016, it's been 2017 where I found her Twitter. But basically, this was like the start of it all. So my camera died, but like I was saying, um, in 2000, well my camera didn't die. I ran out of uh, space on my memory card. But as I was saying, in 2016 or 2017, I found her Twitter. I don't know if you have to do that. I don't know if it's on focus. But then yeah, Ayoka or whatever. Um. It's probably not gonna focus. Whatever. Her um at name is Mystic X Lipstick. So if y'all wanna follow her, go do that. But she starts talking about like well she mainly she like a good astrologer. Like if y'all feel like astrology is not real, go follow her and I promise you she will read you the fifth. I be like, how you know this stuff? Like Y'all just go follow her, like, cause when I tell y'all astrology is real, like, it is real. If you don't know, I recommend everybody go look up their birth chart because it basically tells you who the fuck you are. Like, all you need is your birth date, the time that you was born, and where you was born at, and like, the location you was born at. And it will tell you everything about you, like, for real. But, I found her Twitter, and she was talking about astrology. And stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, okay, and crystals and stuff like that. So I started kind of like shying away from that and just trying to be like, oh, and try to connect more with the universe instead of like an actual God or whatever. So yeah, that's when I started like to shy away from Christianity. But at the same time, I was still confused because I'm like, because I don't know because it's like, like I said, Christianity is like all I knew. Like this, I, everybody knows like what African American knows. So. I was like, I don't know, I was kind of confused. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for a minute, you know, like, I kept changing my name, the name of my channel. And that's because, like, I was trying to find who the fuck I am. Like, I was trying to find out who is Jasmine. Like, 
but it's just a purpose in, li purpose in life. So, that's why I kept changing my name because I'm trying to figure out like who the fuck am I. So, it wasn't in 2017 she started talking about like, well no, she she had been talking about like doing like new moon rituals and full moon rituals, just like writing it down. But on new moon, she was just like writing down your intentions because it's like the best time to like manifest them. And then on full moon, you write down stuff to release. So, I started getting to, like start doing in that work and stuff or whatever, like just energy work. Like trying to remove all this like toxicity or whatever that I had learned like growing up over there. Cause like I said, like growing up for me was not easy at all. Like and I hate that because people think like, oh, just because I have this pretty face, like my life is easy. No, baby, not at all. Like a bitch being the bitch is in the mud. Like anything I got, I got it out of the mud for real, for real. So um so yeah that's like 2016 2017 i started doing like um i was introduced to her and i started doing like new moons and full moon rituals and basically like i said just write down your intentions and stuff like that and like she have a list of stuff that you can write down like i said just go follow her and you'll see it all um and then in 2018 so which was last year i started doing um she she do like energy work as well like remote energy work so like just like different stuff like she have a father's day plans coming up i didn't buy that it's normally like 9 and 9 or whatever i didn't buy it this time but normally i would buy like all her cleanses and stuff and like i said it's just energy work it's trying to get rid of like all this like negative energy that you have on you so that you have like a better positive life and stuff so I was doing that, so I started that last year in 2018, and then I also so right along with doing the energy work, I also found out about like voodoo and stuff, and like I knew voodoo exists. But I never knew who to like. I don't know, like, I've always been drawn to like magic and stuff. Like, I really want to go to New Orleans. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like, my number one place to go in the world is New Orleans. Like, I don't know, like, my, I just want to go there and just like feel the spirits, feel the energy there. And like, I don't know, I just feel like New Orleans is just like, I don't know, a good ass place to go get in touch with spirit. And so, yeah, I've always wanted to go to New Orleans for that and for like to get a read and just to get in touch with like magic and stuff like that because I don't, I just always thought like it was just there. Like magic only exists in New Orleans. I was wrong. It exists everywhere. And also, another thing, The Skeleton Key is my favorite movie. Like, that's some hoodoo type shit for real, for real. So if y'all want to know some stuff about that, I suggest y'all go watch the Skeleton Key. I don't know, y'all might not like it, but <laughs> that's my favorite movie. And that's like when I was like, I've always been intrigued by this type of stuff. So last year when I found out like Bruja's exist and stuff, I was like, what? So I started, you know, doing my research about it. And at this point, I am no longer a Christian. <laughs> At this point, last year, I'm like, you know what? I'm not a Christian. I don't want to be associated with Christianity. Jesus Christ is not my Lord and Savior. I am my Lord and Savior. So, yeah, I just started buying books on, like, hoodoo. And just trying to, you know, learn about that and stuff. Because, honestly, I actually feel like I am called to do that. Like, I don't want to say that. Like, but I kind of feel like I'm called to that. Like, I don't know, just calling my name. Like, it's like, Jasmine, Jasmine. <laughs> So I'm like, you know what, let me find, let me answer this call, you know, let's see what it's talking about. So, yeah, um, so that was just last year. And then this year, 2019, I had to change my major. Yeah, I had to change my major. And I just chose African American studies. Like, I had no idea what that was. Um, like, of course, the name says, like, African American studies, but... I didn't, I didn't know how depth it was going to go until I actually took my first class. So, um, when I tell y'all, this shit changed my life. Like, personally, me, I 
I'm watching Riverdale. Even though I already seen it this season, it just ended. And it's already on Netflix. But I got sidetracked. Um, but yeah, when I changed my major to African American studies and seeing how depth that shit was going into, like, I just feel like. I feel like, um. Yeah, honestly, Christianity is oppression. Especially for African Americans. Like, I want to, I'm not going to get into it, but I just feel like Christianity is basically oppression for us African Americans. And, like, we're too blind to see that. So, honestly, I'm glad, like, I don't fuck with Christianity. Like, and don't get me wrong, like, I like Christians because my king, he is a Christian, I believe. I don't know. And his family is so not to say i hate christians it's just the religion christianity is what i have a problem with because i feel like it is made to oppress african americans because if you know like it did start during enslavement and stuff like that so yeah and if y'all want me to make a video explaining like christianity and like what i believe about it just let me know because i would gladly do so like in which i know my opinion about it so yeah I feel like I was talking to him. I didn't try to play this position slow. <laughs> but, um. Cause I don't want to make this video long. But, yeah. <laughs> So this is what I in my life today. Um, I do study hoodoo. I kind of, if you want to call me bruja, that's what you call me. You want to call it witchcraft, that's what you want to call it. I mean, I don't really care because it's me. And that's what I like to do. It's something that makes my spirit happy. It's something that keeps me in line with my higher self. And if you have a problem with that, then that's you. You did what the fuck I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, but like um, I could finally say like I'm thinking I'm at a point in my life where I find my purpose, but I don't want to say that because I'm only 24. I can be 25 in August. A Leo gang in the building. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I don't want to say I found my purpose, but I think I'm on, I know I'm on the right path to doing so. So yeah, and if you guys don't, um, follow me on Instagram at mystical.goddessjazz. I suggest that you do so. Um, also you can follow my business account, um, the Mystical Trap House, and I do like Oracle card readings, um, I do Oracle card readings. Yeah, and I also sell crystals. I have crystals and stuff, Florida water and stuff for sale. I have Palo Santo for sale and stuff like that. So like, that's what I'm into, you guys. Like, I can't do the whole religious thing. Like, I try. It's not for me. I like to do my own thing, and who allows me to do that? So yeah. I don't know what you guys know. Alright, I just briefly summarized this whole little spiritual journey, but when I tell you it's been hard work, like just going within and trying to like get rid of all like the stuff that I've been through, trying to get rid of all that. Like it's hard, it's real hard. But it's so worth it in the end. I promise you guys that. But Okay, you guys, my camera keeps cutting off. So basically, um, my whole spirituality journey started back in 2013 when I had the miscarriage. Um, yeah, when I knew that I was, I was like, I was just searching for like what was my purpose, you know, like everybody does. So yeah, so ever since then up until now, I kind of feel like I, I know where I'm going. I'm on the right path or whatever. Um, 
So yeah, if I could do it, you could do it. You did, like, I mean, it's hard, but you gotta do what you gotta do to live a better life. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, about me talking about my little spirituality, my spiritual awakening, you know, my spiritual journey. Um, like I said, if you guys want me to do a separate video about um, why I feel like Christianity is like oppressed for African Americans, then um, let me know in the comments down below. I already plan on doing it, but if you let me know that you want it, I will expedite it and get it out to you as soon as possible. Um, I do start summer classes um, coming up, so yeah. So just let me know if that you guys want to see that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know, like, what are your beliefs? Like, trust me, I don't have no problem with Christians at all. If you Muslim, Christian, uh, uh, atheist, uh, whatever, whatever you want to be, I have no problem with that. You did? Just don't judge me and what I do. You did? And don't try to demonize it just because you don't understand it. Take the time out to understand it before you try to judge something. Okay? So, yeah, um, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, go ahead and like this video, and I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye!